proper number 12, Irish whiskey. Derek right here. No, man. Hey, what's up, man? You tired? You don't want to be here? No, I don't like doing this. No? No. Uh, I'm going to watch. You're going to ask me the same question they asked me a month ago. Go ahead. I was going to ask how this fight came to be because it seemed like you didn't want to fight in Houston anymore. I don't know. They just told me that I had a fight, and I said, yeah, I'll fight him. It don't matter. So I don't care where it was at. Did you hear uh, Ty accepted this fight when he was – not completely sober. Apparently, he was talking with Mick, and they offered him you, and he said yes, and then woke up, and he had a fight with Derek Lewis. He didn't remember? Well, that's cool. You know, I did a lot of things whenever I wasn't sober. and said, agreed to and did and regretted it later on, but it is what it is. He also said uh, that if he, when he if he beats you that he, you should throw him your cup, and he'll do a quote-unquote cuppy in the octagon with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. That guy is nasty, man. I can't do that. I don't know. You silently be knocking at his door all the time. He got to be taking something to help his immune system. That is just nasty. Derek, you said that there's been some times in your life where you've accepted things when you were drunk and regretted it. No, we're not. No. Why not? not we're not going to talk about well, that. Well, you said we asked you the same yeah, questions all the time. So I'm we're not to... going to talk about that. Y'all, I, I did a lot of stupid stuff in my life, yeah, and I continue doing it. About, I'm trying to learn from them, so we're just going to move on. Next question. Anything as stupid as drinking out of another man's cup? <laughs> that don't even sound right. <laughs> no. <laughs> If it was a woman's cup, yeah, we'll see. Of course. Yeah. Not no man, no. You said that, you know, the last time you fought in Houston, the pressure got to you. Is there anything you specifically have to do to avoid that happening again, or is it just try and put it out of your mind? Um, since y'all still ask me the same question, I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's the reason why the pressure was so tough, that fight right there, because it was the same day, exact day that I got out of prison, the same exact day. So it's like I put a lot of pressure on myself, and it's just like a crazy, crazy thing that I wanted for my legacy or whatever. You know, you know being all the way at the bottom of my life, then being the champion of the world, it just meant a lot. You know, at that at that time. You know. yeah. So it's almost like you wanted it too much, like to. Yes. Thank you for answering the question, Derek. Over here. Um, Celebrated a birthday this week, right? Uh, is it tough to, to kind of have to fight and have your birthday at the same time? Were you able to, I don't know, have a nice meal or anything? Yeah, I had a good meal. Um, I had an extra workout with my wife also, you know, so that was pretty cool. We did some, some things we never tried before, so that was pretty cool, you yeah. know. Well, congratulations on that. And uh, I guess um, in terms of uh, the title picture right now, in Ganu versus Gan, did you watch that fight and kind of what were your thoughts on it? Well, I didn't watch the fight. I'd be damned if I paid Francis any money out of my pocket for his pay-per-views. No, I didn't watch it. I tried to stream it, but they kept getting shut down. But, no, I didn't watch it. With the way the division is right now, we don't really know what's going on with Francis, and you have Stipe and John kind of also up there. Um, with a win over Ty, do you feel like you put your name in that conversation with those three other guys? Uh, I, I don't care. I don't care who's my next opponent is. It doesn't matter. I prefer to fight someone new, so yeah, that'd be good. And how much do you want the Francis rematch? Is it something that you're you're really interested in? I mean, you, you kind of speak. Obviously, you didn't want to give him your money, but um, do you feel like that with a win over him, that's that's one you're really gunning for, or no? Like I said, I don't care who I fight. I don't care if it's Francis or whoever. But I prefer to fight someone that I haven't fought before. Right, Derek, I got to ask, mate. Out of the whole heavyweight division, who's cooked? would be the worst to drink from. Who cup? Let's say that again. Who's cup? Coop. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man, what the hell? <laughs> nobody. I wouldn't like to drink out nobody cup. I'm sure every, uh, we all fired it, so I'm pretty sure everybody got musty nuts. It's all at the same level. So, no, nobody. One's got to be worse than the other, though. I don't know. I'm not watching all these guys die, so, you know, I'm clean, so I'm probably the cleanest fighter they could drink from, really. It would be warm, 
It'll be warm. You remember? You remember latte. <laughs> right here, Derek. Um, obviously, you're the knockout king, but um, especially since your back surgery, you've been moving really well, especially in the scrambles and on the ground. Do you have any desire to ever go for a submission if the opportunity presents itself? I would. I would. But I get so much more satisfaction whenever I knock somebody out. Sway more. You ever been in a fight before? Yes. You knock someone out before? Or they... No? Oh, okay. But it's like one of the best feelings in the world. Like submission is cool and all that, but the satisfaction is not there. There's way more satisfaction whenever you knock a grown man out. Uh, Derek, over here. Uh, I just got to ask, uh, why do your feet smell cheesy? Like, is there a certain reason for that? <laughs> um, I don't wear socks all the time, that's all. Where are you from? Uh, Texas. Oh, okay. Well, I don't wear socks all the time, no. Got it. Derek, over here. Right here. Uh, DC was looking for someone to play golf with while he was in Houston. Would you be down to play with him? In the future sometime? Yeah, I would. I'd play golf with him. But um, he can't talk about Popeye's chicken. <laughs> Who do you think is better between the two? I believe I am. Yeah. Thanks. Derek, if, before I leave town, what barbecue joint do I have to hit? Bob, what barbecue joint do you need to hit? Uh, the pit room. The pit room? The pit room, yes. Very good. I would invite you, but you're busy this week. I can still eat. We still got a couple of more days, man. What are you talking about? All right, we'll get. We'll, Let's we'll go talk to, after. I haven't ate today, so you know. All right, we work something out. Need some lunch or something. <laughs> Thanks. There are lots of ways to support our brave first responders. Drinking a rich and smooth proper Irish whiskey is one of them. For every bottle of proper number twelve we sell, a donation is made to first responders. Here's to the proper heroes, Shlonda, 